Your best friend needs to crash for the weekend, but you're not at home. However, your bae is. What's the funny Would you listen? I know you heard about Tay Eats. Tay Eats. Tay Eats. The food was there when you were around Tay Eats. Tay Eats. Tay Eats. I know you heard about Tay Eats. Tay Eats. Tay Eats. The food was there when you were around Tay Eats. Tay Eats. Tay Eats. Hey butterflies, welcome back, welcome back, hey, hey. okay let me stop playing around, if you are new here please consider subscribing to your girl you know, it's free, it's free y'all, so today we got chipotle and I have some vinaigrette and I got some sour cream right here, y'all. And um, we're going to put it in there. And we're going to shake it up, y'all. My burrito trying to come apart. Because, hold on. Let me taste it. Okay. Mm-hmm. Let me put a little bit more. Cause I feel like vegan sour cream can taste a bit blah. It can taste a bit blah, but this judge it up, y'all. It judge it up. It really does. So, then y'all, ooh, I tried to put cheese on my burrito, but child, that's a long story. We're gonna talk about it. Well, we might not. Let's get into it, y'all. I got rice, beans. Oh, let me hit the, hold on. Gotta get the Chipotle Tabasco, y'all. It hit. For some reason with Chipotle, it hit, y'all. I love it. This is thick. I probably should have, uh, I probably should have put some more sour cream in there. Mm. Let me put this down. Get myself situated, y'all. Oh. Yeah, y'all. We're going to play a game. And I should start playing now, but I'm being greedy. Mmm.
Something fell. Something fell in my closet, y'all. Oh. What I was saying. Oh. We're going to play a game, y'all. And I know if y'all remember Derrick Jackson, why he ended up buying his car game. And I ended up buying his card game, y'all. And so we're going we to play a little game. Play a little game while we eat. Okay. So this is one of the questions. Your best, friends meet, your best friend needs to crash for the weekend, but you're not at home. However, your bae is. Would you let them? So would y'all let your best friend crash and you not there for the weekend, but your man is? That's a H-E-double-L hockey no. Okay? I wouldn't do it, but to each his own. I mean, what type of friend is she? Is she the ugly friend or is she? <laughs> nah, let me stop playing. I mean, is she the ugly friend? Maybe. I don't know. Probably still. Shoot. Okay, next question. I ain't got no napkins, y'all. The fastest way for someone to earn cool points with you is to A, tell the truth no matter what. B, admit when they're wrong. C, make time for you. Or D, verbalize the things they like about you. Y'all tell me what what y'all think my answer is, and then y'all write y'all answer in the comments as far as what y'all think or whatever. But y'all tell me what y'all think, and I'm gonna take this bite. Mm hmm. Listen, so like I love answer B. Admit when they're wrong. I like somebody to admit when they're wrong. You definitely can't gain cool points with me on that. Um to make time for me, oh yes, that's really, really one of the best things for me. But I would say, hey, tell the truth no matter what. Tell the truth no matter what to me. Like, you know, I want the hardcore truth. 
tell it to me so I can make the decision. Okay. You and your partner are cuddled up on their couch. His or her mom bursts in with the key and without speaking starts cooking. What do you do? A, nothing. B, look at your boo for an explanation. C, plan your exit because things just got awkward. Or D, ask them to speak in private immediately. Um, so I definitely would not do nothing. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something, right? And I feel like my answers could be multiple because I'm gonna look at him and I'm gonna want an explanation. And if the explanation is not good enough, I'm getting my sh and I'm exiting because things just got awkward, okay? Or, um, you know, I might also D, ask him to speak in private, you know, immediately. So I feel like I could do B, C, or D, but I'm definitely not gonna do nothing. Like, that's crazy. Oh, my stuff trying to fall out. That vinegar red is not bad, y'all. It's pretty good. This is a good question. What level of presence on social media do you think is necessary for a relationship? A, as much as possible, if you're, if you're proud, flaunt it. B, occasional good times, but that's it. C, just enough to make it clear that you're taken. Or D, out of sight, out of mind, no presence. So, this is a real big one, I feel like, for a lot of relationships and a lot of couples, you know. You have, you have some people that want that presence. They want to be known, like, this is my woman, you know. They, they, they want to let the people know. I feel like for me, um, excuse me. I feel like for me, I'm kind of of a out of sight, out of mind type of girl. I don't necessarily care for uh, social media presence. You know, believe it or not, y'all, it took me a long time to do what I do. I fought with myself for a long, many, many years and I wanted to do YouTube. Man, I remember when I was like maybe 13, 14 years old. So, um, yeah, he don't have to flaunt me. Now, you know, as long as I know what it is between us, I'm secure in the relationship, I'm good. There's no need to show people who I am or, you know, even show who you are. Unless, you know, hey, if my man want me to do that, I don't know. I might do it. Anyways, let's next question. Which one would mean the most to you? <clears throat> Slow dancing under the street lights, surprise picnic while out running errands, deep tissue massage after a long day, or pillow, pillow fighting and play wrestling. So which one is it for you guys? Is it A, slow dancing under the street lights, B, surprise picnic while out running errands, C, deep tissue massage after a long day, 
or D, pillow fighting and play restfully? What do y'all think? For me, it would be C, D, tissue massage after a long day. I think I would love that. Yeah, D, tissue massage. Okay, you guys, we're gonna do one more and then we're gonna get out of here. I am stuffed. If you haven't tried the vinaigrette little hack, I have to say it's not bad. You know, I know a lot of these little hacks that be going on or you know these little things that people say go out and get. Um, it's not bad, you know, it's it's not bad. It's it's a great add on to your your burrito. It's a great add, you know. But is it just I don't know, I just feel like sometimes people hype it up more than what it is and it's not all that but it's it's good it's not bad which option would you choose 100k to buy any car no resale no trade-in free rent for five years c 100 percent student loan forgiveness or d 10k to spend however you chose Hmm, this is a good question. So 100K to buy any car, no resale, no trade-in. I don't think I would take that one. Okay. 100 a, a, a free rent for five years. I think I would take that. 100% um, student loan forgiveness. I really don't have student loans like that, you know? I have about, I think like a thousand dollars in student loans, which I'll be paying soon. Um, 10K to spend on however you choose. Give me B, give me free rent for five years. I'll take that, okay? Um, this was a nice little game, y'all. I thought we could just do really quick. Um, y'all try it out. If y'all haven't tried the vinaigrette, it was pretty good. I'm going to go, you guys. Thanks for tuning in. And I will see y'all on the next one. Oh, and remember, know thyself. Bye.